Endure and Survive. This one is an hour episode. It's going to be intense, I think. We're going to learn about Sam and Henry. And I have no clue who they are, but I feel like we need to trust them and protect them. <laughs> so we'll see. I am ready to jump into this episode. Again, you can find the full versions of these reactions on my Patreon. Those links are in my description box below. Let's get into it. Perpetuating the same things that they did. It's just this. What? Well, whatever. Like, I get it. There needs to be some sort of rebellion. Take back your freedom. But then, I don't know. There should be. A, there's a way about doing it that should not turn into like bloodlust. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, so we get their story. Sign language. Okay. I'm on their side, like, I'm, I don't know the story, but I'm on their side, 100%. You know, Perry, I used to be so scared of these people. Now look at them. Betraying their neighbors to Fedra. Watching us get thrown in prison. Watching us hang so that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples. But well, I'm not Fedra. Lucky for you. <laughs> No one here has to die. Yeah, we could put you on trial. You're all guilty, so that's how that'll go. And you'll do some time. Easy. Where is Henry? Your informers. Inform. Even though you kill said them. Them. He's, he's with Edel's team. She just said we will not kill you. He's still in the city. Okay, I want our people going door to door until we find him. No. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's wow. after. I mean, I got. What if they get to him? I already did. We won't be talking. Okay. Water? Bullets? It's below her. Tied into QZ Main. We can use those, but we have to be fast and careful. Food? Whatever you brought. I barely made it out as is. So we're fucked on food. Ammunition? Empty. He's scared. Because you're scared. <laughs> Man, imagine having to tell that to your son or daughter or your little cousin, nephew, niece. <laughs> Please rise. Because mm, he's already captured at that point. The, the little eye mask on him. <laughs> this is when they, uh, when Joel and Ellie show up. Interesting, that really changes everything for them. Oh, and he got a. Oh, okay, okay. That's how they found them. So they're they're following them. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. So could work. His little shoes. <laughs> Jeez, I've been trying not to cry for sure in this episode. 
It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joe, tell him he's okay. Everything is great. <laughs> my name's Henry. It's my brother Sam. I'm the most wanted man in Kansas City. Although right now, I guess he's running a close second. <laughs> the two people with the kids. You get these. Listen, Bill. He's dead. He says thank you. I'm guessing you don't have one, so this means he's eight. Cool. I'm Ellie. Look, you ate, we didn't kill each other. Let's call this a win-win and move on. Monsters, savages. Yeah, you heard right. Rape and torture and murder people for 20 years. And you know what happens when you do that to people? Right. The moment you right. get a chance, they do it right back to you. No. Worse. I'm a collaborator. I don't work with rats. Yeah, you fucking do. Today you do. Because I live here and you don't. Mm -hmm. That's how I followed you here. I know the city, and that's how I'm gonna help you get out here, Sam. You seem capable enough, you're armed. Yeah, wrong, you're wrong. I never killed anyone. And he points even to unload a gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. <laughs> All of them joke book. <laughs> it's coming in handy. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long Aww. time. Highways and downtown. Us. This whole area belongs to Captain. He's in charge. Leader of the resistance. Mm. Boom. Kansas City has a subway? No, but they do have maintenance tunnels. There's a bunch of buildings all put up by the same. If it gets bad down there, we turn around and run right back out the same way we came. Oh, that's your great plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. As far as I could tell. That's the only one. On the shot. Man, it's so interesting. This like the the emotions I'm feeling where I'm like, of I would of course hate the fascist government. But then you see, but we come in at the time where the the people who were under the the trodden, the downtrodden, are now on top. But the way they're doing it looks like makes them look fascist. But if we had been watching what from day one what they were going through, then it would be like triumphant to see them on top. Does that make sense? It's interesting because I would normally be like, yeah, yeah. But then, and then normally I wouldn't also want to root for a, 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 a rat. But then, but the way that, it, it, it's so cool. They're humanizing everybody and it's because that's what it is. You ready? Oh my god, this is not a good plan. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the only plan, but it's not. They don't know what's going on. Wait, 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 wait. Holy cow. No, no. So they had like a preschool, kindergarten, underground. The edge of the universe. And back. Endure and survive. Endure, survive. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> now keep it down. We're not out yet. Oh, come on. Can we just rest here for a while? Get on. Yeah. This show is what? so heavy. <laughs> you probably not killing someone. Oh, okay. He was a man. A great man. Never selfish. He's always forgiving. Sam, he, uh, he got sick. Leukemia. Yeah, but that worked. And, whoa, big shock. There wasn't much left of it. And it belonged to Fedra. And if I wanted some, it's gonna take something big. Leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. Captain's brother. Oh. Yeah. So, still think they should take it easy on me? I am the 
bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. That's so interesting. It makes you think. I'll be her father. <sighs> Not a bad she guy. So much. So I could tell. Have you been back to the room we grew up in? No. A couple hundred miles away, it's not exactly worth it. When Michael and I were little, this room used to be so big. Got really scared of thunder. So when there was a storm, Michael told me that this wasn't a room, that this was actually like the big wooden box. A big wooden box that nothing could get inside of. As long as we were together, Perfect box to be safe. He did that for me. He would be horrified with the things I've done. I was and if you come to tell say. me that Michael wouldn't want me to hurt Henry, that he would want me to forgive. He probably would. I know that yeah. too. He told me. He told me to forgive. Mm. What did he get for that? Where is the justice in that? What is the point of that? We're with you. Good. No, well, this is the worst part. This, this is bad. This is like really, really bad. I mean, they can't even run away. They got out. Never, ever, ever happened. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times. <laughs> and you break it. Oh, Whoa. shit. Whoa. Where the fuck is that coming from? Shut up. I've got a sniper. No, oh. no, no, what no. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. I'm glad that he's gonna kill you. It's dark and he has shit aim. Nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. Do you trust me? It's not good <laughs> at all. Gun down. Slide it over to me. And stay up here for now. Ellie, <laughs> come on now, just look forward and we'll keep running. Oh god. Wow, and Ellie fell down right there. They, and they don't know if this is, this place is free of the fun, fun guys. Great. Man, well how do they get out of this? God, the bloodlust is wild, though. I'm not no. gonna lie. I mean, I That's I right. understand matter. her anger, obviously, but still. I'll come out. <sighs> Just let the kids go. No. What do you mean, no? Sorry. The girl was with the man who killed Brian. And <laughs> fucking hell, man. What the hell? He's just a fucking kid. Well, kids die, Henry. They die all the time. Well, this is what happens when you fuck with fate. Wow, what an evil bitch. It's the way it ends. Oh, there's a hole. Ooh. Oh boy. No, oh no, they're not. No, they're not running like that. No. Okay. Oh god. Ellie, do you have wheels on your feet? Because why do you keep falling down? Who's the big guy? No, no, there is not. No way! <laughs> no! No! Whoa! And he bites you like that? They're literally 
building an army. They're like, we have a Hulk. <laughs> oh, this guy is done. He's done. He's done. It's a kid too. No, not a kid flipping in there like that. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Good for him. He's a real sharpshooter. Whoa! Have they been bitten? <sighs> Ellie. Ellie! No way, Kathleen! Look at what's going on! Let it go! Oh god, the little girl. If only... Damn, this is so creepy. And they're just gonna run into the into the city now and kill the rest of them. Did they check ev like everyone for bites? You don't have anybody else relying on you. That's the hard part. Mm. I guess we're doing a good job then. Endure and survive. Endure and survive. Oh. Yeah, she's really deep. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> After all that wild night, <laughs> how could you sleep? <laughs> How do we act like everything is normal after that? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Oh, gonna try to pour her blood on him. Oh, sweet Ellie. Man, what the hell? Why? Why? It's just not fair. Oh. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What did I do? What, what, what did I do? This is episode five, I think. Endure and survive. <clears throat> I, I, I know it's not real, but it's so hard to not be touched by what I'm watching, and and it, you know it feels real. It feels like it's it's happening. So it's so hard to not separate. Like, oh yeah, the, the, it's just yeah. If you see kids on screen and they get hurt in any way, it's it's hard to watch. Watching stuff like this is kind of hard. <laughs> it really is. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just the whole thing wrapped into one 
thing, <laughs> the whole thing wrapped into one thing. Just seeing Ellie take on that kind of role model figure for for Sam and wanting to be there and potentially having a, a new friend. And even though he's much younger than her, it's still like they're both kids and they could hang out and, and, and you know, they have certain things in common and so just seeing that that relationship blossom was really awesome and then her cutting her hand and saying her blood is medicine and using it as a way to help her, to help him and like that's like such a giving so like it just shows how big her heart really is she comes across as this like tough kid who you know, doesn't really care, isn't really afraid, but like she said, she is afraid, she is scared all the time. And she is afraid of ending up alone, and I think like those were like the, the most important lines of this episode. But just seeing her do that kind of really grown up act of trying to help this child not be afraid, and potentially believing that her blood might help him and then jump to the morning and she's almost being mauled alive and him uh, growling and her screaming and that acting was really, 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 really real. <laughs> I could still hear her screaming. It's really scary. It was just a lot to take in. I feel like I, in the last, the in the third episode and this, the fifth episode, there was like two key points that are really important. And I feel like they go. I feel like they go together. And it was when Bill told Frank that he had never been afraid. He had never been worried about things. He's always like a. He's a prepper. He's a, a guy who prepares for everything. And living on his own was really easy. But it wasn't until he fell in love with someone that he was ever scared that was the first time he'd been scared in his whole life because he didn't want to lose the, the person he loved and oh man <clears throat> and so when El ellie saying like she doesn't want to lose like that she's scared all the time i feel like that goes together not when you find the one you love whether that's your family member friendship romantic partner that is when life gets so really scary and I understand that so just like yeah I think I can relate to that a whole lot I, it's like this vulnerability that I can share with you guys is yeah I'm without breaking down and sobbing so I'm hold on I feel like it's so relatable uh, because, yeah, it's so weird. Like, I remember I can relate a lot to that. I think a lot of us can. I think that that's the most human thing that we go through is when you, when you meet people in your life or you have, you were born into a beautiful family and you have these relationships you, as you get older, you realize that, oh my God, uh, one of these days it's either going to be me that's gone or them. And when you finally are conscious of that, it makes the world so scary. And I remember that happening for me. I think I was pretty aware of that when I was pregnant with my first son. I didn't know exactly the the, the thought, but now I can understand. I, I couldn't understand my thoughts then. I was young I was just so young but I remember feeling like well what's gonna happen though like where what does this mean I knew that that question was big but I couldn't understand it until you know more recently and like the mortality of like you know my hair is getting white I can relate so deeply to that because having my kids and knowing that I'm, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm seeing white hairs in my hair and I'm getting older. And, and even if, 
I'm lucky to, to stay alive and become old. I don't know if tomorrow is the last day for me or my kids or the people that I love. And I'm very aware of that. And I'm, I also can relate to that. I am scared all the time because because I have people that I love who, who need me and they need and they yeah like this this these couple episodes are just too real they're really real the heart of this show is just the human connections and if you have those connections you understand and you um you could feel this really it's very real and whoever watches this is that I am scared all the time because I don't know just think like oh I just want to make sure I we get they get me my kids get me until at least they're like they've learned to be independent and strong and, and not that it, it you know just my death would it be hard for them any either way but at least I just pray, you know, and, and that's the thing. It's like life isn't fair and it's not a, it's not planned. There's a lot of unplanned things and those unplanned things can be great and hard or terrible, but it's just, it's life. And I think that's just the, the scary part about life. You don't have to have these fungus creatures or zombies to make life scary life is already scary and very unpredictable and so for me what I do to combat the jumping into crisis mode because I definitely do that my brain likes to do it I find things to share with the people that I love which are my kids like that that's really what it is it comes down to like I we we watch movies we listen to music together, we talk, we laugh, we, we, we go out and do walks and hikes and you just make those memories and you just try and try and try to, you know, cherish the times that we have with the people that we love and do the best that we can. And then when we, when we mess up, say, I'm sorry and and try to do better and that's it that's all you can do in this life and so that's I just feel like that the the last th episode three in this episode definitely showed that a lot and like the bigger picture of it all I mean yeah I could talk go into the episode and say oh this Kathleen was this and this and my god look at the big Hulk mushroom guy that was intense and it was and it was crazy and oh my god every all this all hell broke loose we know that happened you guys watched this episode and you watched it in reactions this is just like I just what I see the bigger picture of it is Kathleen is stuck on her hate the people before them the fascists were stuck in their hate and the way that they were taking hanging people and the way that the whole thing went down everyone was missing the big picture each person had a loved one in their lives. Kathleen and her brother. You got Bill and Frank. You've got Ellie and Joel. You've got Joel and Tess. Joel and his brother and, and his daughter. You've got Sam and Henry. And that's really what it comes down to in this whole world is that we are connected so much more than we realize. We have friends, family, we have work partners. Yeah, we're all blinded by the, the, st the stupidity of everything else in this world, and we really shouldn't be. And it's, that's like what it is. It comes down to Kathleen can't get over her, her anger. And it's it just like, God, the world is ending in this movie or in this show. The world is ending. Life as they know it ended. But we don't, we keep, okay, well, now we need vengeance and revenge and to kill everybody and just just whatever that's it's just like why not just spend the precious times that we have left with our family 
and friends and and or make new memories with new people not now we're in control let's destroy this group of people and be despicable people for 20 years and then be like oh oh now we're being destroyed because well oh yeah that's what's gonna happen when you're hurting people there's gonna be vengeance but it's just like this thing of like the bigger picture of Kathleen was so distracted by her hate that she then gets killed by just an outlier this weird outlier this this stupid thing that is potentially they we they, they got it from eating infected flour or sugar she ate it from eating pancake mix or something and now this is the world but Everyone's too busy wanting to hate each other and and hurt each other or be the best and be better than other people. And it's like, God damn it, we don't have a lot of time. Let's just chill and try to just enjoy. That's, I guess, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. It's like, God, it just sucks. And then if you and and and, and then you and you could understand Henry's perspective. His brother was dying. He, he wanted to save his brother, and he did it the most probably despicable thing, turning into someone who was a really good person. But you can understand that. And then you could understand Kathleen's perspective. It's fine. We can, under, we could, we can understand everyone's perspective. It's totally fine. It just sucks that we all find our – we all have our hurdles and our the, – the humps that we can't get over and – and we're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. Everyone is. It's just, it's just though when you do figure out like, oh, life is worth fighting for and worth saving is once you find that, that purpose there, whether that be a loved one, a, a child, a family member, a work position, maybe you're out here taking care of the ocean, whatever it, it is, it does give you this sense, the sense of purpose gives you this we need to fight for this type thing. We'll do it. And hopefully it, we don't have to betray other people to <laughs> to fight for it. You know, hopefully it doesn't turn into that. But I guess my brain is a little scattered and I hope that makes some sense, you know. But I'm not going to sit here and judge anyone's perspective because it, I think everyone always ends up, from their point of view, they have a point. And they have, I'm like, yeah, I get it. If I was in your shoes, I'd probably do the same thing. But... Or at least I could understand why. And that's it. I guess that's what it comes down to. But yeah, this was hard. It's not an easy watch. It's not an easy watch at all. But really well done. The acting is so on point. Everyone does a fantastic job. It's the the makeup artists do a wonderful job. The the creep factor is great. The emotional feelings we get watching it is it's so real and and it's hard but it's also really yeah it's like that thing it's endure and survive and I think that that is life even if it is redundant and and find joy in the things that you can like whether that's just making yourself a really delicious meal it's so it's just getting or getting that nice ice cold drink if you can if you have access to that it's just this thing of let's find our joy. Yeah, I think that's my advice to everyone watching is just try to find joy in what you have and don't live in what if mode and the, oh, we're going to die. We're going to have no, there's no need. We can't control most things, but we can control what we can in our what we see and what we can do and how we treat people or ourselves and then might as well just enjoy those 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 moments I think yeah great episode very heavy uh rest in peace to Henry and Sam and what a wonderful way to just drop us into their lives and we're like already on board right when we see them yeah awesome okay that's it thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode bye everyone